Good day and welcome to our short video explanation of how to install a uh, Genius Cool retractable screen door. Uh, we're going to show the assembly very quickly because it's easier than the instructions seem to indicate. We'll also explain why it probably isn't going to work for you if you have a door that swings out. In other words, you have to mount this inside. So let's get to it. Um, what we've done is we've taken the packaging, which was there, and we have uh, taken the top rail, the bottom rail, and this kick plate, that you can see right there, out of that box at the top there. And all we've done is laid out. The uh, top uh, rail and the bottom rail are identical. There is no right or wrong. So let's get to assembling this. Uh, as I said, the top and the bottom rail are interchangeable, so you don't have to worry about them. Uh, the question is really, how do you put it in? And the answer is, you need to worry about that the curved piece right here. So see that curve? This piece is curved, this piece is not. Goes into the curved plastic. All right, so let's just slide that in. And there's a channel for it to slide in, so you can't really screw it up. And you'll see this little hole here, which uh, matches up with the plastic stopper here. It'll click in. There we go. So now if you try to pull it out, you can't. Now if you need to pull it out, you just grab something flat, the screwdriver, pull it out a bit, and it will just slide right out. So that's all you do. Pretty straightforward. So again, I'm putting this outside flange over top of the outside of the plastic and sliding it in. There we go. we go that's it so to show you how this expands this will expand with ease up to various dimensions right so 32 to 36 inch quite nicely on the top and the bottom so let's uh, go and show you why this won't work for most people with an outside swing door in other words where you need to mount this inside your house so you can see here that it says that it will fit a six foot eight inch door which is your standard North American door height and that is 80 inches the problem, of course, is that there's a bottom rail and a top rail, and those rails are each an inch and a half, which works just fine if you're mounting it outside, but if you're mounting it inside, you don't have any space for a top and bottom rail, especially if you, like us, have nice trim around your doors. So, uh, you really have two choices. One is do what I'm doing, which is just take it back, the second option would be to remove all of the trim and then have the door uh, sit squarely on the floor and have it be three inches above the opening uh, at the top of your door, uh, which will work, but it kind of looks like hell, so not for me. Let's show you that. So well, there it is sitting on the floor, and I can tolerate that, but I'm not really happy with it because it's a bit of a tripping hazard, but that's okay, I can live with it. But look what happens when you get to the top. When you get to the top, that's going to sit a solid three inches above the opening, and that's going to be a problem. Another issue I had with this particular one was it didn't come with the screw kit. Now I called them and they said, don't worry about it, we'll just send you the screws. And, you know, I didn't need the screws, we're okay. It's pretty straightforward to install if you need to do the installation, if this will work for you. Basically, there's uh, only six screws I think you need to put in. You need to put in one at the top here, one at the bottom here, right there. And then on the other side, the same. And then if you want to use the kick plate, and that's a choice, you put in screws here in this last channel, so along here. And you're good to go. Um, it's easy enough to flip the handle. If the handle needs to be in a different place, you can turn the unit upside down because the handle is dead center, so you don't have to worry about that. I did call their technical support line to verify that what I assumed was the case is the case, uh, that it uh, just really is not gonna work for most people with uh, inside doors um, or doors that swing out that need to have the screen on the inside. And so um, the solution is just to take it back to Costco, which is what I'm going to do. So now I've got to pull this apart so I can take it back to Costco. I have proper tools, but just to show you can use anything, I'm just gonna use a nail file. So I'll pop this in, 
and pull this little plastic guy out a little bit and bingo, just slides out. No hassle at all, easy disassembly. And that's that, I think I'll take this back to Costco and we'll call it a day. Thank you, bye-bye.